Keeps on going up. 273 is your national average. Let's get back to Rand Paul. On the Senate floor for nearly 11 hours, protesting the renewal of the Patriot Act. Listen. There's ultimately going to be encryption that's not housed by any company. They're going to have the encryption. The only way you get through the encryption is through the individual. And this is being done because the government's overplayed their hand, and because the government's been such a bully on this. Companies are going to continue to get farther and farther away, and what they're going to do is the encryption will be only in the control of the user. All right. Come on in, Judge Andrew Napolitano joining us from D.C. Two quick points. First of all, congratulations. Rand Paul quoted your editorial from the Washington Times in the middle of his 11-hour speech. Secondly, you are totally wrong on this issue. I say, record it all, store it all, and when you find a bad guy, go back and look at all the records as to whomsoever he or she ever talked to in their lives. Go. Did you forget that we won the American Revolution? Stuart? Uh, it is your interpretation <laughs> and, and, of the Constitution and, and, and which we're no, arguing it's, about. Well, it's also the court's interpretation of the Constitution. The highest court in the land to review this has found it unlawful. Six lower federal courts have found it unlawful. The plain language of the Fourth Amendment says if you want information about someone, you have to present probable cause because the British used general warrants on us, which authorized the bearer of the warrant to search where he wished and seize whatever he found, and the Constitution was written to pre prevent that from happening. Okay. Bad guy comes into we America. We don't have a king or a queen here, Stuart. <laughs> Bad guy comes into America, commits a right. foul terrorist act. We didn't catch him in advance. He does it. He kills people. We want to know who he's been in touch with. Go through the NSA records. Go back in history. Find out who he knew, when he knew him, what he said. I've got no problem with that at all. Well, you, you have you read the Fourth Amendment? Not recently. Okay, okay. Okay. The, the, the system is so overloaded with data that the NSA folks with whom Fox News has spoken have argued that there is too much data in there for their own agents to go through. And that's how the Sarnayev brothers, who used email, texting, and cell phone calls, that's how Major Nadal Hassan at Fort Hood, these are monsters that we wish we could have stopped, who used email, text messaging, and cell phone calls, and that's how those two jerks that they did stop outside of Garland, Texas, by a traffic cop, not by an NSA tip, they all slipped through. So the concept that by listening to everybody's phone calls or capturing the digital right. version of them, we will somehow be kept safe, simply doesn't work. Okay, uh, just, just for the interest of time, I must move right. on. <laughs> okay. Now, this one. There are several lawsuits from workers who say they should get overtime for answering those late night emails from a company issued phone. What do you say? Well, it, it depends upon the nature of your relationship to your employer. If you are an hourly employee, you are entitled to be paid for all the time you work. And if it's above 40 hours a week in some states, 35 hours a week in others, they have to pay you overtime. This is presuming the employer wants these things answered in a timely manner. There's obviously nothing wrong with the employer emailing you at 3 in the morning. The, the potential issue is, do you have to answer at 3 in the morning? Right. If, on the other hand, you are a salaried employee or management, the employer is free to impose that regulation on you that you answer in a timely manner, and he need not pay you. Now, that's the general law, Stuart. Yep. It may be different state by state. It may be that this becomes such a huge problem that legislatures decide to get their hands on this. But absent any unique legislation, that's the general law in the entire country. Okay. Now, what am I supposed to do when you email me at 3 in the morning? Uh, refuse to respond. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> and I know you have. <laughs> I want to say, uh, Cheryl is here. Well, She's got two cents we, worth. We've talked about this a lot. And in, in my opinion, if, you, if you're an hourly employer, your salary employer, turn the phone off. If, if that's, that, is, that is the right of the, of the employee, I think. Okay. Turn the, the good phone point. Good point. Off. Now, come on in, Judge. You, because if you it know, is. You, it should, you should go to work every day thinking. How can I make my employers happy? I know the yes. three of us do that yes. with our employers. That's right. Mm -hmm. But if, if but there is a but there is room for abuse. 
un if, if this does go to a higher court judge, correct? Okay, well, here's what a court will look at. Is it, is it the news business? Is it something that needs an immediate response? Or could this 3 a.m. email rationally wait until 8 in the morning? Those are the type of uh, fact-sensitive issues that a court will look at before it decides, is it right to punish this person for not answering, or is it right to punish the employer for demanding an answer? Here's where I think you and I and Cheryl agree. If we're back in our early 20s, just starting out, and I got a phone from my employer, I'd want him or her to email me at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I would respond right. immediately because I want right. to climb the food chain. I want to show them what I can do. How about that? Right, 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 of course. I, I want that even in my <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 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 All right, Judge. Now, I'm going to be watching tonight on Special Report because I know you're going to express the wrong opinion on the Patriot Act. <laughs> but I'll be watching. I'll be watching very closely. I, 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 will, I will keep you in mind. I might even wink at you. Be careful, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Judge. We will see All you. All the best.